Hi guys, Danny here, and welcome to my play world. And right now I'm hiding because if you see in my menu app, you can see a red square with a question mark in it. That means it's a mob that the menu app can't recognize, which means only one thing. There's an ant inside my base. Now, like I've said before, ants are spawned when you, when you like chop down a lot of those uh, trees from witchery. And I had just done that. You can even see the leaves there. Uh, the sigil just recently cut down the wood and I'll show you guys how very easy it is to kill okay this ant doesn't seem to be responding but I'll still kill it whoa I'd already killed one it's actually quite easy with the cleaver um, if you just avoid his hits You know, okay. <laughs> well, I do hope they do spawn in Zaya here, actually. Okay. I actually have three ant twigs now. That's ridiculous. But what I was going to do right now, before, you know, I saw the ant, was I was going to make some puppets. Basically, all I needed some wool and, you know, bone needles. And instead of just making the death puppet, which I really don't have the resources to make right now because I'd need a drop of luck, which requires refined evil, which requires gas tears. And I don't have gas tears right now. And I'm re not really in the mood to go to the nether, so instead of making one of these death puppets, I'm just going to make an earth protection, water protection, and fire protection. So I'll be protected from falls, drowning, and, you know, death by fire. And that's pretty much what I care for, because I think I can handle myself in battle right now with my giant axe. And in fact, in fact, I think I should make some bedrock armor in this episode. Yeah, I was, I was planning to do some more witchery, but I think my uh, industrial coil would have had uh, charge enough power by now for me to make some bedrock armor. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I should do right now is make the puppets and what keeps exploding? Something keeps exploding. Still have no idea what it is. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in a second after I've made the puppet and when it's daytime. Okay, well it seems that I can't avoid doing some witchery. I'm just using the end twig I got, surrounding it by some mutantis extremis to get myself one of these guys. Now what this can be used for a simple thing. For example, it can be used to turn uh, dirt into mycelium, like that. Now, I don't know if mycelium actually... 7235, let's see if, if I change that. It gives me anything. 7235, 7240, it does give me something, that's good. Let me just change some more dirt into mycelium. And that's that. Now, other things that it can be used for is if I try to mutate a dirt block under water, it doesn't turn into mycelium. Instead, it turns into clay. That's super handy. Because that's the thing I need right now. And as you probably saw, it doesn't just turn that one block into clay, it turns a few blocks into clay. So, yeah, super handy. Now, I want to see the range of this thing. So, let me see. Nice underwater line of dirt. I'll just use my pick. Uh, get some dirt. Uh, I need to get a shovel. Or, you know, use get this shovel from inside before coming out. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. It's just a few pieces of dirt I need anyways. And then I just do... No, wait, no. It has to be underwater. Okay, so one, two, and finally one, two, three, this one here, four, and five for good measure. Okay, let's see. So I go here, boom. Okay, that's not bad. I can live with that. Yeah, definitely live with that. 
So yeah, that is the mutating stick. Oh, okay, there's a big hole here. Hopefully I didn't lose anything. And I finished making the puppets, and here I am right now. I put down the bedrock breaker in a different position. Well, I just moved it from over there to over here. I think a few pieces have already been sliced off from this bedrock. Yeah, it's called bedrock slice, so yeah. I think it's just two pieces, but I'm not really keen on continuing this, because on this side, there is at least three lines, or, you know, three bedrock blocks, and that would be really good to get right away. In fact, I might just go behind this to check if there's more. I always need that redstone. Oh, there is. Perfect. Okay, well, it finishes there. And, oh, there's a nice line of bedrock just there. Let's put on a torch. I wonder how far that continues. Oh, it's just there. Well, nonetheless, there's still one, two, three, four, five. And cutting down each slice takes 12 seconds. Let me speed this up further. Whoops, game crashed. And I'm back. The game crashed on me, but I reduced the number to 300. Cause Reika added, added this handy ability, so now I can actually see the operation time. You can see it over there, it says 17.6 seconds. So I can now see how long it'll take for the bedrock to be broken. And the best thing is, I don't even need to be here. And I'm not going to be here. I'm just going to take my teleport tether. Stick down the teleport tether. Maybe down there. Like so. And I'm done. Now, let me just go up again. Okay. What's next? Well, I made the puppets, like I said. There we go. Alright, okay. One thing about the puppet that I didn't do last time, I did mention it, was you can't just make the puppets and leave them like that. They're not assigned to anyone right now, so if I do die, nothing will happen. What I need to... Okay, I'm lagging a lot. I'm assuming it's that second teleport tether. What I need to do is create some more bone needles. And, okay, I know. Perfect, because I have a flint right there. Bone there, flint there, bone needles. Do I see some have some glass in there? And I do. And what I need to do is create this thing that would get me what I need. These things, the tag lock kit. One, two, one, two, one, two. I don't really need all of them, but it's good to have a bit extra. One, two, three. There we go. And then I just click on my bed, like so, and it creates three tag lock kits that are, um, you know, that are, uh, well, that have some of my DNA sample, for lack of a better term. And now, I just put in the puppets along with the tag lock kit. Now that's connected to me, connected to me, and finally connected to me. And now if I do die... They will protect me, which is good. So that's the puppets done. Okay, no owl familiar this episode, but I am going to do some witchery while I wait for the bedrock to be broken down. I'm changing a, I'm changing my mind a lot in this, but there's really nothing I can do right now because the thing that I have planned requires me to capture a lot of bats, and the bats I just cannot find at the moment. Okay, what I basically did right now was get a, get the circle talisman and then I did a small ritual to capture the circles that I had drawn on the ground on the talisman. And that way I don't have to redraw the talisman every single time. And it's quite handy because it saves on, on the chalk which is actually very expensive. Okay, now what I want to do is create a, give me a second, Sanctity, I want to summon a demon. Yes, I want to get a witch's heart, I guess I want to get a demon's heart. There we go. Uh, to summon a demon, call for the demon, the inner area must be clear. Refined evil, blaze powder, ender pearl, and villager. 
All right, I have to sacrifice a villager. That's not cool. Or I can also use an attuned stone. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll sacrifice a villager. I'll, I'll sacrifice it, really. I can sacrifice a couple of villagers if you need me. But let's see. Yeah, okay. Because what I want to do is do one of these rituals. Specifically, the ritual of uh, this one. Uh, with the infernal animus and I can get myself superpowers and then I can start finally doing some crazy witchery stuff and after I do that is when I can finally start using spells with my uh, wand that I make out of the end twig so let's see what I needed was some magma cream uh, refined evil blaze powder ender pearl villager I have that, I have that, I have that. And then I can send nearby demon back into the pit. But do I want to send back demons? I want to kill the demons. So, okay. I have no idea how strong a demon is going to be. So this is going to be completely crazy. And, okay. I'll see you guys in a second. When I have the circle drawn. And when I capture myself a villager. Okay, unfortunately I could not find any villages. I flew around... For a long time so I decided to go with a different approach you guys can probably guess what I'm going to do and there you have it I found a villager zombie right click with the golden apple right right why don't you right click I thought this is how you do it is it this how you do it this is how you do it right oh no don't do it don't do it no why did you stand? You were supposed to have been sitting down. God. Don't attack my sheep, you wolves. Oh, God, no. Oh, why did you do that? I have to go find different villager zombies now. Well, that was unfortunate. Okay, I'm just gonna have to wait till night again. So, see you guys when I've captured more villager zombies. Okay, here we go. I figured out yet you have to get yourself a, a potion of weakness as well. So, let me just throw this first. Just come over here. Boom. That seems promising. I see some shaking, and after a while, that will be turning into a normal villager. Now, I don't know if that if that sigil that breeds the animals breeds the villagers as well. Because if it did, it would be super handy, because cause I have no uh, villagers nearby. So if I breed a couple of villagers, I could probably start my own village somewhere. Somewhere close by. And set a few iron golems around. Because, well, it's not really that I need it for trade and stuff but you know I like having villages around so yeah I might do that but not this guy though this guy is definitely being sacrificed so yeah I'll see you guys in a second when this is done and oh the other thing being um, I've actually gotten a few pieces of bedrock dust already uh, where is it it's in here I think boom nine bedrock ingots. I've just been uh, making them in my uh, induction smelter and I've actually stripped away quite a bit of bedrock so I'm just waiting for that to finish as well. So yeah, see you guys in a second. Okay, so here we go. As you can see in my little bar there, I have the bedrock ingots. Now I can make myself the bedrock armor which is awesome because I might have to fight the demon and if I do that I might have died. But now, I am fully armored up, and I don't think anything can kill me. Okay, that's probably a lie. Probably a lot of things can kill me. But still, they're going to have a hard time. Also made myself an athame. I have my gravel gun, fully charged. As you can see, I charged it with the... Uh, actually, I could probably charge it more. I only charged this with one hydrokinetic engine. I could probably get it to... Maybe 9, which would be 18 damage. Whoa, that's going to be crazy. But here we go. Okay, let's see before I go. I have Blaze Powder, Ender Pearl, Refined Evil. I think there was one more thing. 
The villager. Right, right. Okay, here we go. I got myself two villagers. I was trying to see if the sigil would actually let them reproduce. It does not. I, re I assume I need um, uh, the thing for that. The what the uh, thing. Uh, what is, what's it got? Oh god, this is awkward too. Doors. I need to create some fake houses. Regardless, I'll do that sooner or later. Oh, okay, okay, the village is stuck there. But, let's go upstairs. I'm sorry, Mr. Man. You are going to die. Here we go. Oh, right, I need to create the heart thing. You stay up here. Oh, yeah. As you can see, I had to break away the walls because I actually, um... I designed this, as you can see here, from, um, you know, considering the uh, the circles created for witchery. But then I was considering it for downstairs, and, you know, it's a bit bigger downstairs than up here. Um, so I had to break away that a little bit, but it's fine. I can rebuild that. Why I came up here, or I mean why I'm going down there, is because I realize I haven't drawn the heart thingy. So here we go, golden chalk. Do I have, no, where is it? I had, um, I had some, these guys. I might need these guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I have no idea how this is going to be, but I created myself some good armor. I have my athames in case I wanted to stab that guy. Here we go. Uh, okay, here we go. Now count eight from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Um, I need to... I don't know if the torches that are actually placed inside of the circles do anything, so here we go. You go over here, like that. Throw the refined evil, throw the blaze powder, throw the ender pearl, and then right click. Absorbed, absorbed. There you go. Okay, it's attacking me. The guy's attacking me. How dare you attack me? Okay, 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 okay. Well, that was unfortunate. I didn't know it was going to attack me. I thought it was going to trade with me. Ah, oh, no. I wasted a villager. I got some magma creams, but that's about it. Okay. Oh, God. That was surprising. I thought he was coming to trade with me. Okay, so what do I need? I need a refined evil. I need an ender, uh, ender pearl and the villager. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, the wiki wasn't 100% clear on this, but it turns out that I might have to trap the demon to trade with it. And I'm not exactly sure how to do that, so I'm just going to try and kill it again. Here we go. I'm going to try using the Athamid this time. Okay. Oh god, what's happening? Ah, uh, god. Okay, it's, it wants to trade with me. Okay, I'm going to run away now. Bye-bye. Okay, come on. Oh god. That was absolutely scary. So what did I learn? That if I try to block it, that I can actually trade with it. And all I need to do is not die, and I can't trade with it. So, let's see. I think... Okay, I'm slightly... Um, not sure what to do, it's destroying my base. I'm gonna go up there in fire bat mode and try to see if I can reason with him. You're a crazy person. You're a crazy person, you hear me, crazy person? Oh god! This guy's a crazy person. 
Let's see if I can force you to trade with me. My god! Sneaky trading. Okay. Uh, efficiency book. Efficiency book. Sharpness. Fire aspect. I wish I had some more slime so I could create magma creams, but I don't. Infinity. Ooh, I could get that. Hide away, hide away. You know what? I'm gonna let the demon stay there for a while. He's gonna be my new demon buddy. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go up there and kill him. Right after it's daytime. I have what I want. I have the heart. Um, I could do with more hearts, to be perfectly honest. But I'm not sure if I have enough slimes. I don't. So, let's see. If I do this, I have a way to get slimes. You know what? I'm definitely going to do that. I should probably stock up on some hearts. Um, I'll just throw a blaze rod in the pulverizer, like so. Go away. And with that, I'm going to go and I'm going to put some smoke. Uh, the disgusting, what is it called? Pungent something. Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. Foul fume and quick line. Foul fume. I know for a fact that I have a lot of foul fume. There you go. Foul fume. And quick line. Quick line. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Like so. Boom. And then I just distill it. Like that and that. Okay. I could probably do one more. Uh, one foul fume and one more wood ash. Just so I get two more hearts. Because as fun as it was summoning this giant demon that can blast me, I'd rather not. Okay, so when this is done... I can finally go... Ooh, whoa, the demon falls from there. I'm kind of screwed. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys in a second when all that's done and after I'm done, you know, trading with the demon. Okay, so things are going horribly. <laughs> uh, my entire base is dotted with holes. And on top of that, there is an ant there for some reason. Okay, um, I have two of the demon hearts but I really do want a third one you will trade with me damn it come on you oh it doesn't have any more hearts I didn't know demons only had three hearts fire aspect efficiency 15 okay you're no use to me anymore goodbye oh what now you're completely nice all oh, right okay you're not nice Oh god. That was horrifying. Okay. <laughs> um Well my base is pockmarked and nearly everything is broken. At least he dropped some magma cream. I will have to rebuild. Oh god. I did not expect it to be so. Oh, he broke my rope. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, that sucks. Ah. Oh. Well. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, as you can see here, I actually died once, technically, from falling, so I lost a poppet, so I'm glad I made that. Um, 
uh, yeah, I guess the next episode I'll be creating the thing that I was talking about, the uh, power of the infernal or something. It'll give me powers. Basically, I get to sacrifice animals and I get to gain their powers. So if I was a bat, I could fly and that sort of a thing. Unfortunately for this ant, I always seem to have an unfair advantage. So, you know. Whoops. But the ant does have a magical ability that it plants trees as it walks. There. Now, where is this guy? Hey, you. Come on. Go on. Do the thing that I was telling you to do. Clean everything up. That's good. Mandra okay, that's gonna clog up my system. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a fruitful episode. Um oh I also noticed something else that's absolutely awesome. Here we go. Demon phylactery. It has essence of demon. Meaning if I kill enough of these guys, kill enough demons, I can summon them using Ars Magica. I can summon them and I can control them. I can get them to kill people, or you know, things. That's gonna be awesome. So yeah, <laughs> um, I was gonna check if I have any uh, damage in my armor. Oh, that's why I survived, because I had blast protection and fire protection. I would have died otherwise. Wow, that was a difficult fight. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, and uh, if you like the video, please leave a, a like. Or subscribe for more Minecraft videos.